BBC and almost all other international media outlets divide the Hong Kong people into two groups. There's the heroic pro-democracy people and the scary evil pro-Beijing people. This is quite, quite wrong, of course, and very unhelpful. Uh, here's the real story. Uh, Hong Kong's population is 7.5 million, of which 6.5 million are adults. Now, we have a range of political views, but we're a peaceful, intelligent community with one of the lowest crime rates on Earth. Now, the largest group of us are actually the three and a half million apoliticals, people who don't vote at all. Some of these can't vote, while many can, yet choose not to vote. These folks are not apathetic people, but the opposite. They're super busy with work and family. They're making businesses, making babies, and making deals, often all at the same time. Then there are two smaller groups of about one and a half million each. Now, those do vote regularly. Uh, both groups are pro-democracy and both are pro-human rights. That's really important. But they have different attitudes to China and to mainland Chinese immigrants. One is hostile to China and the other is friendly. Now, the international media always presents the first group, the China dislikers, uh, as if that group speaks for all of Hong Kong people. But that's not true at all. Now, there's also a fourth group, thankfully, uh, by far the smallest in number. And those are the radicals or localists. These are rather jingoistic anti-immigrant groups who want to fight, I mean fight literally with petrol bombs for independence uh, of Hong Kong from China uh, against the wishes of the great majority of Hong Kong people. Now this radical group's policy is Lam Zhao, a Chinese phrase which literally means we fry together. It's often translated as mutual destruction. Their slogan is if we burn, you burn too. Now, the national security law was specifically designed to deal with that last group of people. Uh, more than 200 Hong Kong people were involved in the early discussions about that new law. And that new law is not the end of this city. On the contrary, uh, for many Hong Kong people, and I mean people of all different political backgrounds, uh, that's a welcome step on the road that leads back to where all the groups want to be, uh, which is back to a state of peace. Yeah.